Hello everyone, welcome again and uh, today I'm going to continue the Puppet tutorial and uh, uh, today we are, this is going to be a fourth tutorial on Puppet so in this tutorial we have uh, go, we are going to cover the browser options like uh, how can you perform the uh, back button how can we click on this back button and how can we uh, forward uh, we can perform the forward operation we can reload the same URL and so let's switch to the Visual Studio and we are going to use the same example and also I prepare a complete step with notes so you can uh, check this link and you can use this command so uh, we have already seen like how, like how can we launch a browser using Puppetia and navigate to your page so let's see how can we close the browser now so let's click to the Visual Studio code and uh, Perform an operation of it page uh, page dot close okay. so now uh, the browser will launch and open the new page and navigate to this URL and close the browser. So let's run it. So command will be test. And it's going to be launch a browser, open a new page, and reload the page. Oh, okay, navigate to the URL and that is done. It's not working there. Okay, uh, we have to use the small key here. I'm sorry for this. So let's run this stitches again. So at that time it doesn't find okay, it's done. So even you are not you can see it, it's too fast. And if you want to see the output, we have to use some weight. Let's use some weight. So weight mm, page to to wait for and should we Five second no we have to use more second because my five second will take a page page will take to load so now I'm going to run it and it will wait for 20 seconds uh, before closing so the last time the page loading page execution time is two now, now let's see so the browser page is open and it's navigate to the URL codec.com and waiting for the 20 second it will take complete 20 seconds and then it will close it now you can see so we are using only page we are closing only page not the browser if you want to close the browser just will perform browser to close so it's going to close all the browser so, so it's done and now if you want to see how can we reload uh, we are going to use 10 seconds and let's see after 10 seconds Page await await page dot reload. So this command I'm going to reload it uh, the same page. Let's see. So open browser, new browser, navigate to the URL now. It will wait for 10 seconds and after 10 seconds you can see it's reloading and close. So it's working and so to reload the page we can use just page to reload and to forward and backward also we have methods here so just, just move to the step by step so close browser is done and we have already seen the headless mode so for the headless mode we just need to add a headless as a false here while we are launching the browser we just need to pass our area an element and uh, Another option is slow mo that we will see when we are going to use this um, input box. So slow mo will be uh, really helpful. So we'll show you when we perform any operation, any example with uh, um, any input input field. And also reload is done. And now let's see go back and go forward. So uh, for example, let's see here. Open. 
So it's going to be reload and then await page dot go forward. Or we can say we have to perform back go back first, then await page dot go forward. It means the same page is going to load. So these are the another two commands to go but click on the back button of the browser, just go forward, go back and to forward to reload, just click on go forward. Let's use the go forward. And now <coughs> let's run it. Run it. Before run it, just put some weight so you can see it. So I'm gonna use another weight after reload five seconds and then after next second, next five seconds it will go back, then it will go forward and then it will close it. Okay, let's run the command and check the output. <coughs> so the browser is open, new page is open. The URL is navigate to the URL. Now let's perform the reload. Now let's click on the back forward back button then it click on again the power button then it's going to be close yeah it's done so by using this you can use go forward go very uh, go forward and go back use this kind of okay another important concept is incognito mode so how can you run it the same script on the incognito mode so just we need to add a line create incognito uh, to browser context. So here, when we create object of browser, here under the launch, you can see here, um, await browser dot. Okay, let me show you. When we create a browser, now we add one line here. So once context and browser when you click on this browser and enter here so let's create context in incognito mode and now you need to use context a uh, context to create a new page so while we're creating a page here uh, apart from browser we have to use context so, now this page will open on this context and this context is created in incognito mode. So now the program will run, the application will run and run in private mode. So let's run the test again and you can see it's opening in incognito mode. I can see it's so use incognito in private. So it's happening just changing one line of one method. So just need to do some practical tasks and these are the all the examples for the browser options in Propedia. Okay, for reloading, go forward course. Okay. And in upcoming video, we'll see some more examples. So next video is going to go the input and uh, buttons, inputs and buttons. So you can use input and button.